So in a Commonwealth group, we like to say we attract and support entrepreneurs who are both shamelessly idealistic and ruthlessly accountable. And that magical combination of idealism and accountability is on display in the next clip with one of our Commonwealth members, Brian Piccarillo, who idealistically left a cor corporate job where he was making a ton of money because it wasn't satisfying. He wanted to work directly with people as a wealth manager, and he made that leap of faith. The accountability <laughs> and the realism came from the fact he didn't have any clients and he had to build that from scratch and has become an expert prospector. He shared that with us in one of our Commonwealth meetings. We've got a clip here that will give you a, an understanding of where to start if you want to grow a client base or increase your customer base. So yeah, so the biggest thing for me was just the, the networking aspect of it. I looked at it a little bit differently because I was the person that never answered their door when the people came knocking, selling roof replacements or solar panels um so i hated being sold to i hated somebody walking up to me with a business card and trying to just hand it to me and saying hey i'm brian i'm a financial advisor would love to manage your money for you so really what i thought is how would how do, who are the people that i work with in my life before i do what i do before i do what I, is that right anyway english isn't my strong suit today um but um so I said, you know what, the people I really trusted and worked with in my life are those that I hung out with and those that I really had a relationship with. So why wouldn't I treat my business the same way? Before I ask anybody for business, I want you to be my friend. I want you to think of me as family and think of me as somebody you would want to go hang out with. If I called you on the phone right now, you'd be like, it's Brian Conn. Awesome. Let's talk. And I want to feel that same way when people call me. You know, if David calls me, I don't want to be like, oh, it's David calling again. Uh, I'm not going to pick up the phone. I want to be excited to talk to him and find out how his life is going. So I took that approach with my networking. And this goes for LinkedIn as well, is I just went to events, not, not that we're for, you know, there's Rockstar and BNI and all that stuff out there. I didn't care about those. I went to events that, that's, that were things that I thought were interesting to me. So I joined a Pittsburgh Steelers football watching group. I joined a guys that eat wings on Mondays group. <laughs> I joined a, a golfing, you know, group, you know, with a couple of buddies of like people that aren't really good golfers. Those are the, those became my networking groups for my business. And, and what happened was I became friend and trusted by them. And what happened, you know, it naturally occurs is what do you do? Or what is in, what are you doing in your life? Or, you know, how can I help you? Or you throw your nuggets out there, kind of like as we do in these meetings, where some question may come up, especially in my world is very easy oh man, they were golfing. I'm really worried about who gets elected and what that means to my retirement. Oh, well, did you know, blah, 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 blah. Elections don't really have that much impact on investment savings. As long as you're doing X, Y, and Z, you'll be fine. Wow, Brian, that's great advice. Again, I'm prospecting in that sense, but I'm not asking for business. I'm putting, I'm planting the bug in everybody's ear that I meet. 